Hello everybody, just a real quick little idea for you and a bit of crafting. So my name is Stephanie Waitman, you're watching us at Highlight Crafts and this is our new collection from Two Red Robins. It's called In the Moonlight. So what I've got for you is a silhouette that designs. So first one we're going to look at is Crown of Antlers and I've written the names here so I can just remember them. The next one that you've got is Howling For You and everything that you're seeing, you're seeing in the exact size that it's available. And then we've got Twit Woo and I love these. Imagine these flying over moons, they're gonna look amazing. And I've also got On The Horizon. Now I've got a few finished samples I want to share with you. So these are some that the lovely Steve has done for us and I wanted to particularly share them because they're not only simple, but they look so expensive. He's used his buff board and actually cut through it to give us the silhouette inside. So here we've got it with a matte gold and then the red behind each of them. But then he's made complimentary gift tags. So each one has got another tag behind it, which gives you the color when they're laid over the top of each other. Finished with a little bit of gold ribbon. And what a great Christmas collection that is going to be. There's some more. So here's another one that he's got. Chosen a textured background. Cut the actual um, scenes that we've got here. Cut on the horizon multiple times, but actually from different colors. So graduating from, from light to dark at the front, picking the colors out from the, the background that we've got. Do, cutting our wolf twice, so we've got it laying over the top. There's that little owl that I mentioned for you, and he actually has just cut a small white circle to look like the moon. And then we've got the animals at the bottom, just all looking up to the moon, actually out there, having a walk, taking, making the most of the night time. Here's another one, again, this is from Steve, but this one's a little bit of fun. So he's taken our owls, put them so that they are literally across the top of the, almost like right in the distance there. And then used two of our little glass embellishments to create the detail on the eyes. Love the effect that we've got there. This is another one that Steve's done for us and using the glitter card and that's so super effective. And just that little bit of tartan finishing off the design, but very, very effective. Lifting up the card here on some foam pads so that you're getting the effect of the shadow because the shadow really just brings that to life, gives it another dimension. This is a very clever card because as I lift it out and I open it up, you can see how each of the layers has been made separately. So let me start over this side. So Rudolph, he's given a little red diamante. So the Rudolph is our reindeer. Then we've got a little bit of glitter on the treetops that you've got there. It's got a hinge on the side, so it's actually been attached to the next panel. The next panel is also hinged, but facing the other way, so that we've got a story. And then finally, the third panel is hinged, and that then folds back to create the design that Steve has done here. And so he's got a concertina card, which if I stand up, you can see that zigzag effect. He's got a concertina card that really displays in the moonlight perfectly. And then a couple more ideas for you. So this is one that is in a box. So you've got the, and I'm just gonna pull this piece out so you can see. The main design, now don't worry that these two are cut out because they were used for another card, um, but it was a way of maximizing the card usage. Then we've got the stag and baby stag together and the owls there in the background, but again, creating the dimension. And then this one, one of my favorites, because we've chosen one of the backing papers, put the owl in the moon, and then this piece goes slightly to the front, and, the, um, and we've got both of the deer there. So they're all designs from In the Moonlight, the actual collection, 
which is this set of, of dies that you're seeing here. These are $35.99 if you are a Robins Club member, so Robins Nest member, so that's what you're going to get. But I've got another design I want to show you, and it's this one. Now, this one utilizes the die, but we've got all of the details. So there is the greeting card, it's a temp fold. What you've got is that lovely sentiment. I'm just gonna share some of these with you. So this is by no means everything, but this is actually from In the Moonlight from the USB collection. And what you've got on here is layered designs. You've got the words in there, you've got the stories. I mean, these are just clever projects, but you also, you've got a selection of different toppers that are in here that you can add more detail to. I've got two of those because I'm going to be using um, one of them in a demonstration. We've got Dreaming of You, congratulations just for you. Look at this one. You could almost see that folded in half and it is your card front. Again, another one. I'm just gonna bring in a viewfinder for a moment so you can see how you can crop into this and choose where your design goes. There, put an owl flying across the trees and it's gonna look superb. In fact, these cards need so little to make them look stunning. And you can see that there, I've just created a card literally in, in moments. Here's another one, again, choose where you want the design to go, but if I take it up there and I put my stag, as you can see, that's another one that's going to work perfectly more with our scenery. I'm just gonna find myself um, a little owl, which I know I've got multiples of just here. I'm just gonna get a, the small one of the smaller ones and just show you how he would just literally could be flying across that moonlight which you've got there and of course we've got our stag or in fact we could even put one of our wolves or our um our dogs there and so each time you do this and let's just look at a few more of these backgrounds again absolutely exquisite this we might want to bring in a, a bigger owl because they're silhouettes, you can turn them, you can have them facing either direction, but that again looks really stunning. And we've got more. And it, these are the designs that you can just keep adding to. Doesn't always have to be black. You can put in the white that you can see there. You could be sparkling them, glittering them, but the backgrounds are exquisite. And I would like to compliment and thank Josh, um, Josh, I beg your pardon, Sam for doing these because um, Sam has done a phenomenal job and they are absolutely stunning. Multiple sizes, multiple designs. And I'm just gonna move on to some of the textures. Now this happened to be on my desk um, yesterday and David walked over. David's one of the lovely designers and creative people, in fact, guests on Create and Craft that I work with. And he looked at it and he went, where have you got that painted paper from? And I actually said, it's a print. And it was partially hidden, so he couldn't see the edges of the paper, but it looks good, it really does. So you can choose your colors so that you're bringing to life the design that you're working with and you can see there everything perfectly coordinated so if you want to go for the larger collection we do have that for you but it doesn't just include the usb because one of the designs that i want to show you in a quick demonstration for you which i've got here utilizes the frames that i've got now this is a pack of one inch frames and they look like this you're going to get 12 of them in here and you can make three frames, but that's three frames of this size. So if you decide that you want to make your frames half the size, you're going to make six of them. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I've trimmed off that part of the frame and I'm just gonna do the same. And I'm going to do that three to, uh, four times so that everything is the same size. So while I'm just demonstrating and trimming these, I'm just gonna mention what's in this other bundle. So you'll go, you would be getting a set of the frames, which is um, 12 of these 
these pieces, you would be getting all of the dies, you'd be getting the USB, and you'd also be getting a pack of our 260 gram, and it's midnight black. It is really fabulous, uh, fabulous black. It's brand new, it's only come in this week, and you would be getting 20 sheets of that all included. And again, we've got a special price for you. So what I've done now is I've cut those, and so I've got four of them that are all the same size. So what I now need to do is slide them into each other. I've just got to work and remember which way I slide it. It's that, that way. Got them upside down there for a minute. So take the cut side from one of the designs and the flat side from another. And what we do is we just squash it flat like this and we put the glue on that part of it. And I then slide this inside like that so that I've got the cut side again to this edge. Then the next one we're going to do, and I'm just gonna glue a few of these while I'm waiting so the glue can be going tacky. So it goes there and there and it goes on that panel and that one. So just pop that back in. And then we literally, we push them in like this, get it in nice and tight, hold it together so that that glue just catches. And then finally, this is the last one, that one slots in there and that one will slot in there. And once you've got all four of them together, it's really quite easy to just hold that for a moment and get that to um, just stay in shape. So that's the first part of the project. And you can see it really didn't take very many moments to put that together. So I'm just going to, again, hold that on the back. Now, the next thing that I need to do is just choose my background. And I've got one here that I chose a little while ago. So I'm just gonna pull this together there. I use um, an, a band, an elastic band to just hold it in place. And that's the part of the design that I actually want to work with. So I'm just gonna pop my frame to one side to get that to um, just to set. So let me just pop that against that box for a second. And actually, do you know what I could do? I could just, have I got a band? Let me see if I've got an elastic band because that really is the solution. And all you do is you put an elastic band round the frame. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna put a bit of tape round here. And I'll show you what I'll do to cut to actually make this work. It's actually quite an exciting thing to do as well. So it's another idea for you. So that's going all the way around and that's keeping our frame nice and tight. Just use a, an elastic band if you don't want to do what I've just done. Right, so then we're gonna decide where our um, design is gonna go. And you've got a few choices. You can draw around it, cut it, do whatever, wherever you need to cut it and take your guillotine or your pair of scissors and let's just trim that down to the size that we need. And I'm gonna go about there, I think. So we're trimming that down and this will be where we need it to be, just like that. And that is then gonna go over the back of the frame. And if you've trimmed it and cut it perfectly, you'll get it so that you get a really good fit, try and get it so it, it fits it perfectly. So that is where our moon's gonna go and will look particularly nice. So I'm going to, let's put this on now and we'll get it in place so that you can see the extra little bit of detailing that I'm going to do, which really won't take very many minutes and make sure that that's the right way. Not that it mattered then, because I have got a square and that's gonna go in place there. So there's our little picture. The next thing that I need to do is I've taken the edger die. Now you can put this die on and then decide how much of this white space you want or whatever color you want, because this 
the die doesn't cut into the bottom. So I've allowed quite a lot, but that's because I wanted to show you a technique. So I'm just gonna trim off some of this space and I'm gonna fold back no more than about half an inch. And the reason that we don't want it to be any more is because it's gonna sit in here and I'm gonna use this panel to glue it to the, the box. Now, of course, I could go all the way across the front if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna get the same effect. I'm going to tuck it inside. So I'm looking at what depth I need it to be to be able to tuck inside. And I can see that I want it about there, but I'm gonna cut it a bit wider because I just want to show you another little thing. So you can pop it in and you can bow it so you can get extra dimension. Just tuck that piece under because we can still bow even with that tucked under like it is. So there you've got another layer. Or what I'm gonna do, which let's go back to where that cut needs to be and it's about there, is utilize this panel here to have it halfway between the background and the front of the frame. So I'm using that as a way of actually sticking that so that I've got a little ledge and the design is stuck to the bottom of the frame. And it's like that. Okay, so that's that part of the design. The next thing I've got is, I've got my little design to decide what I'm gonna put in the front. I've got my little wolf. I've also got um, another one here. He is going to be just walking inside. And then I've got my owl who's going to be flying across the top of the sky. So that's one of the design ideas. I'm just going to pop this on a little bit of glue. Let's get that stuck just there. We'll put this wolf just inside. And remember, for Christmas, this would look fabulous. Um, doesn't always have to be, you know, just as, as long as you've got a little bit of snow in there, doesn't always have to be completely um, Christmas animal related. It just, just animals that are out there in the wilderness. And then I've lifted up the wings of my owl so that we've got a bit of detail. So what do we do about these side panels? Well, what I would be doing here is I would be cutting myself strips from the panels and I'm looking to see if I've got a guillotine. Just excuse me one second, it will only take me a second to pick this up. And there you can see the details of the dies that we've actually got on in this collection. And so I am just going to trim this. It's a bit of an impromptu part of the demo. So I'm just going to get that trimmed and the other thing that you could be using at this point is maybe a piece of ribbon but if I come into here and I'm going to break that tape so that I can start to peel that off what's important here is that I'm starting it not actually right on the corner because that won't give me the same effects but I, what I am doing is I'm going round just get a nice crease there Whoops, going round here, following the design, making sure I go all the way round. And I continue with that all the way around my box. So I've got a lovely border round the edge. And in fact, just because we can, let's just continue that and get that nicely finished. Um, take that white edge off this side. Did I cut that with the guillotine? I don't think I did, but I'm just, so I better just trim that just to make sure it's right. Um, I'm going to just be estimating this, which we've got. So, one more. go and we're just gonna pop this here we go all the way round 
measure yours perfectly. Get a nice crease there so that you can go all the way around the design. And one, just do it this way, it'll be easier. I'm guessing that is about the right width. And where's left to go? Just from there, like that, round that edge and oh, tiny little piece there that would need filling in. But that would be the way that we would solve that um, if, you had, if you'd had to put tape around it. Really effective, looks good. Finishing off that last little bit, do you know what we could do? We might want to put a tag up there or even um, put a little paper bow, a little paper gift bow so that it becomes a gift, not just a little picture frame. But that's our design supported inside with by cutting in that panel and of course all of those fabulous designs don't forget the usb because the usb has got the most exquisite artwork on it i have to say sam's done a really good good job and the usb is available on its own it's available on the highlight crafts website thank you all for your time thank you for joining me there are two bundles so in the moonlight and that is all of your dies. And then also the mega bundle that's got absolutely everything in it. And you've got the 3D frames, the USB, the black card, and of course the dies included there. So take care everybody, see you all soon. And thank you for watching.